Hey guys, I'm going to give you another example of some data integration. This is the part three of a series of videos on integrated EPCM data management, data integration, specifically how we bring the information into a website environment. Last time I talked about some of the construction verification integration, how we pulled in a schedule ID onto a specific subsystem discipline level. This one, we're going to show what we've done for engineering. And I'm just going to dive right in. So we're going to go look at our project NX. And NX has got a bunch of disciplines. And on this specific example, I'm just going to dive right into an example I've set up for the mechanical engineering. So what we're looking at right now is for the mechanical engineering discipline on this project, we have a bunch of areas, WBS elements. And then for each one of those, we're actually pulling in information from our SAP timesheets because the SAP timesheets are coded to this WBS level. That's obviously a good bit of integration that we've got there. We can actually click on the hours and we can see information that would be right out of our SAP uh, timesheet list. Uh, this would just be totals for uh, a week. Um, and you'd see what's, what's happened recently up on, on top. But additionally, we can also dive in, and this is all about just diving into details on, we'll go look at 2214, just some random WBS element, it could be anything. In this example, we're looking at some mechanical drawings for some conveyor, just anything. And in this case, everything's at 100%, and that doesn't matter. You'd, you'd have this information in your engineering database. Now. One element of integration, it's very similar to our construction verification, is on our elements. We're putting schedule IDs onto our elements. This allows us to consolidate the sum. So in our schedule, we'd actually know that, okay, we've got 540 um, you know, budget labor units for that particular ID, and we get the percent complete from that ID from some systems such as this consolidate by schedule ID. But sometimes things change and sometimes you want a little extra information or granularity. And just like I talked about in the commissioning systems, we can go to edit mode. Now, obviously in the edit mode, in the initial showcase, I showed how we could just update the percent completes directly using a web-based system like this. But we can also update our integration layer. So for our schedule IDs, maybe we want the plan and profiles on one ID, maybe you want the general arrangements on another, and maybe you want the, all, all the other arrangements on a third activity underneath that WBS. So in this case, I've already preloaded it. I've got, I've added a one for my plan and profiles. We get twos for the general arrangements and threes for the, the rest of these guys. And all that's automatically saved in our database. So when I exit the mode, there we go. We can actually see that there's actually a, P6 unique ID and the schedule ID description. So that's the conveyor profiles. Here's my general arrangements and here's just conveyor arrangements for the other items. That right there is just data integration at its absolute finest. Now I could be pulling in a finish date for these activities. If you haven't done that, you could do it pretty simply as well. But just like anything, we can go to the next layer, and that's Jura, because now I've got this go to Jura link. And this is where some magic can happen as well. So if we click that, we're now in this collaborative project management environment. So this is not a, a schedule or a deliverable progress tool. This is now your project management tool. So now we've actually set up a Jura task for WBS 2214. We actually even have a Epic, that's what you'd actually call WBS, so the Epic is 2214. And underneath that, we've got a task or maybe even a user story for mechanical drawings, whatever layer you'd want to put on there. And now we can actually put some commentary and some discussion. We can actually link some additional issues of maybe the 30% design, safety and design reviews, a 60% review, when are we going to get our vendor data? These are actually tasks that you have to perform, and you can actually have your engineering team directly manage this level of information within inside Jura. Now, you sometimes put all this information in schedules and schedules get unwieldy and hard to update at these detail levels. 
But if you think of this stuff as just tasks and tasks that go to a final date, now, if I've got something that says final AFC quantities to project controls, now that actually might be something where I need that date. I need to know when it's going to happen, but maybe I don't need to put that date into my schedule. And you could actually just you know pick out which ones you do want in your schedule, which ones you don't. And then here, we also have our link to our drawings. So we can go from one system back to the other. And now we're looking at all our drawings again. So just a... Nice little example for how you might want to approach some uh, data integration in an engineering environment, uh, specifically for the delivery of an EPCM mega project. And obviously I find this stuff absolutely cool. And if you like these videos, I think I've only got one more left where I'm gonna go through this exact process for how we deal with construction really into QMRs, updating QMRs, and how that information feeds back into our schedule. Same ideas, maybe we want some more granularity in our schedule. And we've got a lot of detail in our QMRs, but if the QMR just has one schedule ID on it, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Well, anyway, thanks for the time. Sorry about talking a little fast, but yeah, definitely enjoy. Thanks guys.